What's the deal, y'all? We're Trapper Tapping in TNN and Trap News Network, and we back in action with another reaction. You feel me? Back in action with another reaction. You feel me? Um, figured out how to get my little subtitles down there at the bottom. I like them. That's new. Make sure y'all give me a good applaud for that, man. Some of y'all said that y'all have a hard time understanding me because I speak fast. So, subtitles for your poodle poodle self. Uh, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, become a part of this rich trapper mafia, hit that notification bell right there at the top, stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Find me on all streaming platforms, Rich Trapper, Game 6, Rich Trapper, worth more than money, Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. My two singles, Start From Scratch and A Nightmare Before Christmas, are both out now, plus my new EP, I'm still better off off without you is out now so make sure you go tap in with that find me on instagram trap news network t-r-a-p-n-e-w-s-n-e-t-w-o-r-x that's right x like x-ray you feel me tap in with that um if you trying to win a hundred dollars that's fifty dollars two different ways the best comment between now and the last day of february will receive a, a cash app you feel me um the top commenter when we get to five thousand subscribers will get another fifty dollar cash app atk cam has claimed his 50 bucks. He had the top comments um, between 4,000 and 5,000 subscribers, meaning he left the most amount of comments and bro got 50 bucks. Go look at my last video. No, the video, not the last one, the one before that. He's pinned right there at the top. You see he collected his chili. Um, there's another person who needs to collect their chili. I said their name. Um, you got two more days, big dog. You got two more days. And the next person is going to get an opportunity and they will have 72 hours. And if they don't collect their chili, then it's going to just... That's it. That's it. Then we're going to go to the next month. That's that. But we are giving away this chili, man. So if you think that I'm lying about it, not the last video, the one before that, you can see that bro did, in fact, claim his chili. So shout out to ATK Cam, uh, or Cam ATK, excuse me, Cam ATK. Uh, he got his money up. But we finna jump right into this content, man. We got Brick Baby and DW Flame responding to big, that big, sad snitching allegations. We ain't finna hold y'all no longer without no further ado's or don'ts. Three, two, one, let's go. I guess. To the video, he described certain shit and putting putting certain people at the scene. Uh -huh. Like they said, I guess whoever Kevin is when Kevin parked. Yeah, that's cool. and he was like, that's yeah, he skull. parked like this, blah, blah blah. I mean, you not supposed to put the homie. I'm a crip, and I'm from insane crip, and I'm not from Playboy, so. My politics is different. I'm going to tell you that. So I really don't want to judge niggas or throw niggas dirt. Or well, throw dirt on niggas name. But I know what snitching is, too. You know what I'm saying? And I don't play about no snitch. I like how DW Flame is very politically correct in his answers, for sure. But let's keep going. And I don't hang around no snitching. And I've been through it in the hood. Like when you, There's no holding hands to this. Uh -huh. It is, but see, y'all gotta hold that same standard for everybody. You gotta hold it for everybody. So, so when you do this, your is what I've been to. certain other people. You gotta hold. I gotta that do standard. my homework yeah, on you, you before I call you a snitch, exactly. though. Too. Yeah, you got. I'm not just finna say you a snitch. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how much I just seen online. I gotta really break it down, break it down for me yeah. to be like, cuz a snitch. I just started listening to Big Sad. Hmm. That's fucked up. I can, but, that, <laughs> I can respect that bro is um, bro is taking his time to get to know the person before he judges the situation. So I can respect that. That's fucked up because I... Nothing so I, happened to his career. Yeah. But because people don't care if you're a snitch. Yeah. People be like, oh, yeah, he's still... What would you have done? But, okay, in that video, uh -huh. you basically see Big Sad describing, you know, he, he's having a conversation, like an interrogation look room looking high type scenario. He's it describing. Look high to me. That's what I said. Them niggas going in there. I've been in there like that before. <laughs> like, thug it. If I done, yeah, I done been. It's, again, I ain't proud of it. I'm not bragging about this by any means. And it's something that I am. Um, I'm not going to say ashamed of, but I, I'm not going to say proud of either. There's no amount of ecstasy pills that I was on in my time of being a pill popping animal that would have ever got me to do something like that because all the X pill do is enhance the mood that you're already in. And I was never in a telling mood. So, yeah. Come, I didn't came off like, come on, cuz I didn't been on real. 
I'm DW. <laughs> if you I'm know DW. me, girl, yeah. I've been out there. I've been caught by 150 police, like, to put me on my feet. Right. Like, get in right now, come out of alley, nigga. It's, it's 150 police outside. Like, I don't know if, how long is the full video? Because I only saw, bro, like, a minute or two long clip. On I ain't video. never said nothing about nothing, though. Yeah. I've never described nothing Can't about even when the police talked to me and had a conversation with me, I never knew what they was talking about. So basically in the clip he was talking about and I don't even really want to talk about it because we can't talk about everybody, but because it's <laughs> we like, don't lie. They've been I mean, on my ass. They no, said no, I was my, too my whole nice. thing is I don't wanna I don't wanna talk about it because then it's like I'm selective politics mm, if right. I just skip something, but it's like this. He was in the in the interrogation room and he just got blue at too. I yeah. didn't know that. See, I've been his hand the was in the year. thing. I don't yeah. even know if that's a part yeah. of it. So he just got blue at too. He went in there. He could have been high and startled. It just was like I don't know, but it's not cool. It's not it's like like that wouldn't be accepted. Right. But then he posted certain shit. And it's like, this person told on a Playboy, but it's like, you can't go tit for tat. What I tell him, what he's still doing? good on Corny. You still good over there in the Playboy. Mm -hmm. So obviously, y'all done politic this down already. And, and It's and, just coming to the work. That's true. You know, obviously, you still out there with your homies. So y'all done obviously did what y'all had to do to talk about the situation. So if they not tripping, you know, they the ones that got to live and die with you. You feel me? Stop. Stop. Stop, bro. I'm talking to the dog, y'all. You get what I'm saying? So obviously he's still good in this area. Mm. So I don't know. That's what, what he's the, saying. What the, no, but it, no. I see him be being saying yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's the facts. Like he been over there since then. He wasn't famous the whole time. Right. They could have been gave him the boot. He, are, he just that's got this old. Run. Yeah, they, oh yeah, this does 2012. Look, he looks way smaller in that clip. Right? That yeah, was 2012. I was but the way no, it's that was looking. 2000. 10, the end of 2010, top of 2010. Hey, but what, let me tell you one thing. He knew this whole time that that might come. Mm. For you fuck. No, that is real. Obviously, amongst him and his homies and, you know, the whomevers and the howevers and the whatevers, things have already been figured out because if that's 2010, 2012, it don't matter. Either way it go, both numbers are over 10 years ago. Around with Wack now, you talking with Wack and Wack saying like we gon' he knew uh, you knew that once you he started, knew once you start he arguing with he, Wack, uh, he hope name. like uh, hope a nigga don't get that just to stir up some more bullshit. Mm. Even if he's not in the wrong and he handled it. Say he handled it. He like uh, I hope a nigga don't bring that up and it just be some more bullshit and I gotta like convince the world yeah. that's some bullshit because in the hood he handled that he handled mm. it. that's what i said that's what i was trying to say like he's still good yeah, in his neighborhood he for sure handled it because he's been around since then you feel me and again that's over 10 years ago and they still accepted him and welcomed him so you know obviously good over there yeah so, but maybe now nobody even know maybe whack did open some of the homies nah. eyes and got niggas nah no nah because he do he seemed if you ask me Sad is keeping the Playboys alive, really. Not like that, not like gang wise, but I'm saying keeping their name to where niggas even know about Playboy gangsters. I mean, he's probably like the most popping right now. Did or you know at least anybody one else of from the most popping? You know what I'm saying? But not, I'm not from there. I'm Man. saying like LA gangster rap in general. I, I, and that's a big thing. He's got to be top five. That's a big thing. Yeah, and, and for sure. I'm saying without him, so. If you the main thing in the hood, cause we not finna just punish you over what niggas say or something we already punished you for. That's back what in I was the about to say. He, they already politicked that. And we he's are. good. Right, so they already politicked it. Again, I'm going to just reiterate that. They not finna re rewind politics. You know, it's kind of already been handled. Oh, and yeah. I, and I, I heard him rap like, about that before. I'm like, I'm like, ignore that because you still be outside with your homies. So if you and your homies understand what's going on, let him talk. But we it saying ain't no prove bring, yourself. Bring, if if it were if it were guys to gang banging and they all came together and they be like, let's bring forth the niggas who we excuse for certain shit because yeah, that yeah, shit ain't excusable. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm gonna tell you like that. Well, okay, this is what 1090 Jake said because Big Sad posted like a screen recording of his conversation with 1090 Jake. Nah, yeah, when I tried to get me to cover that shit, I looked at that shit, I was like, man, get the fuck out of here. So, that's it? I don't know. DW claims that that's it. That's all you got? Five seconds? All right. Oh, how Wack feels about 1090 Jake saying it like that. I don't know why 
Because 1090 Jake seems like he's down to make a video about like pretty much anybody who's accused decision. Uh, even if he like doesn't really agree with it, he seems like he's always down to kind of do like a review type video on his channel. I'm not sure exactly why 1090 it was like totally like against, against the idea of covering it at all. Maybe he, he never he never said the names of the shooters. Mm. He said the name of the soundboy where you went all of now you never said the name of the shooters and I said this before in the last few videos but you did give um date time and locations to where your homies hang out at and somebody did me leave a good point in the comments saying that no it's not telling but it's for sure talking too much which could lead to a conviction in court if used but whatever put me at the scene though cuz I could have said his homeboy his homeboy if I'm not mistaken gang his wife got killed I think his homeboy might have said he was there but now Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, Excuse me. I don't know. I I, I can't remember. But I'm saying because I got family from over there. I got family from Nashville. I remember when all the shit happened. But are you supposed to say anybody was? No, there? bro. No, you're not. The guard, come here. Six ain't feeling the garden. It's okay. What I'm, I'm saying, missing where where he fucked up at. To me, you described the color. Six ain't feeling the garden. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, killer. Relax. Relax. My bad, y'all. My dog finna go off on the gardener. Of a car. Yeah, the the car pulled up on the side. Hey, but I do want to say this. Good girl. I'm proud of you. Good girl. That's my dog. Good girl. That's right. Anything come around this mother chucker, you get on it. You get on it. That's right. I like that. I like that energy. You a killer. That's right. You ain't going for nothing. Because Kevin was driving the car, right? So the car could have easily been in Kevin's name and right. they both could have been booked in jail and right. Kevin could have been in another room. So he could have been like, well, Kevin. Kevin could have been like, I, I ain't never pulled nothing, though. You get what I'm he, saying? What, pull up? Like he, in had, car? he admitted that Kevin pulled up on the side, right? No, he pulled up to park and he went inside of a building. And when he went. He gave the, uh, the one two about Kevin for sure. But Kevin is his brother. So that's what I'm about to be understood. Six. Don't do too much. Inside the building, they came and splashed the car. So he was never up like he in the had car. He admitted that Kevin pulled up on the side, right? No, he pulled up to park and he went inside of a building. And when he went inside the building, they came and splashed the car. So he was never there, but he came back out afterwards and he involved in the paperwork. So that might be excusable because of the fact that he's in the station with him. So they know they was together in the car. That's what I'm saying, too. Yeah. That's a that's a, a debate I didn't had in the hood with certain niggas. Like when the homie said something like, oh, yeah, me and Wooty Woot was there. But you could see them on, both on the camera. You can see them both on the camera, but you ain't got to say that they was there. So me and you could be going out to the grocery store and you can hit a leg and then I could get caught. And or whatever, or however it happens, we could throw any scenario, and we could both be on camera with it. If we on camera, why do they need me to say anything? Like that's what people always kind of lose me at with the snitch. What well, they already said, what well, they already knew. So what? What you tell them for? If they already knew and they already said it, why are you saying anything? If it's already known, why are you assisting with that? You feel me? Like why are you adding foundation and concrete to that statement? Yeah. So we can't say that snitching. The police know they're there. Everybody yeah, can see like, they're like there. If I don't say that we nah, that that's snitching. I don't I don't go with that. That's snitching. There, then everything that was I'm a debate a before, sure. but I don't be taking interrogations. Any, but anything that's what I've understand in my whole career, anything that we gotta think of is snitching. It's snitching. Fuck. <laughs> it's I just I learned that. Look, Adam. Anything that you think like is that snitching or is it not, bro? That's snitching. Mm. That's fucked up too. It's a fucked up. That's the fucked up part about it. And since we supposed to be gangster, everybody who say they gangster, if it's snitching, cause it's snitching, we supposed to snit. We supposed to stand on that. Can you sn snitch on a dry cleaning lady? Yeah. If she like tried to. The dry. You can snitch on anybody. The dry cleaning lady can't snitch though. It's okay if she tells. No, I no. I'm saying, what if I was gonna tell on the dry cleaning lady? That's she tried to assault me because <laughs> she fucked up the die on my we're, bed. We're I feel like telling for sexual fair assault. For us. Yeah, like we cannot because the we don't get no out. fair. And the question is, if you're a man, 
to what degree is it okay for you to tell right. after somebody right. sexually harasses <laughs> or molests you? To say. <laughs> That's what he's saying. But look, we never really had to deal lady, with that kind police, of question. The po- she called the police, right? The right. police come out. And the story get told, they like, well, she can go to jail. For <laughs> I'm like, man, don't send her to jail. Like, I can't, I can't do that. Like, right. nigga, that's telling. Girl. Right. Like, nah. It feel like telling. Yeah. If it feel like telling, yeah, you telling. Tell it. I'm like, she can't go to jail. I'm like, I sue her or something later on down the line. Adam, like, if you good. ever do some shit and you feel like you telling, you telling, bro. No. If you ever do something and you feel like you're telling, you're telling, bro. That's it right there. DW Flame just hit it. Right there in the head. Because I'm not going. I'm not really, really like against telling. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. If somebody shoots up your house. Right, right, right. I, you, you can't do anything. You pay right? taxes to right. whatever. Maybe. Imagine me. Well, okay. You can't do anything like you can't tell the cops. Right. Imagine me telling my girl. <laughs> no. We're not calling the cops. <laughs> The house has holes in it. Why? Right. Why does that sound weird? You making it sound weird. Like you supposed to. Tell. Because imagine him doing it. Because That's Im- what he imagine said. me yeah, telling yeah, yeah, my yeah. girl that. Imagine what she would say to me. She would be like, For "Adam, twenty-two, you don't live a life." For example, I said this before in the video. My kids don't come from the same background and lifestyle that I come from. So, you know, God willing, I raise upstanding citizens. And let's say their car gets broken into. I don't expect them to be like, yeah, we finna go spin the block because they broke into my car. I would expect them to call the police and be law-abiding citizens because I don't raise my kids to be thugs, gangbangers, or any of the things that I myself found myself wrapped up into at a young age. So the rules that apply for street people aren't the same. Rules that apply for regular day-to-day civilians, and I'm raising regular day-to-day civilians. I don't know anybody who wakes up and says, I want my kids to grow up and be a gang member or, or a gangster or anything like that. Like, nah. So when a person like Adam22, who's not involved in any illicit activities or criminal organizations, bro, call the police. Let them people do their job. You fucking idiot. You're not a gang member. And she would be right. But, bro, the fuck So, yes, I would call the being, fucking cops and fuck, say, yeah, I got 10 bullet holes in my house. Fuck being a gang member. Like, we're more on some, as a human, I'm going to go find out and figure out really what happened now. I'm going to get credit. I'm not Batman. What if you bust back? What not, if you bust back? What you if they think a, you think a Batman, you hold back? on, you think a Batman, but really the guy's really around the corner. <laughs> and I'm going to go do something about it. You sitting in the house calling the police, but I really went around the corner and got cracking for real. It is kind kind of hard for me to imagine myself in this situation where I was like I imagine for you it's not that hard because Adam 22 was acknowledging that I don't come from that so I can't even imagine myself in that situation because I don't partake in that type of tomfoolery to imagine yeah I probably know who did it yeah and I'm going to get him I can't you even really call think of police. like who would do that hold on even yeah. if you knew who did that you still probably call the police Right. Yeah, I mean, I can make their job easy if I just filled them in and said, like, yeah, it was this guy here and he posted about it on <laughs> right. Instagram, and which I not, would assume would be We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. No, so no, as, no. if I knew who did that, I'm going to go get who did that. Mm. But have you known people or have you ever been the person in your life who was like, babe, no, we can't talk to the cops about this. And then have the girl be like, are you fucking serious? No, I kind of come from a place where everybody every girl knows. you ever fucked with understands. Yeah, I, 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 I come from like a. When you mess with people who are from the same environment of normality as you, meaning gang banging and all that kind of stuff, and they see gang type stuff, they not really worried about it because that's normal for them too. So girls from certain situations and certain scenarios that grow up around these guys that are gang members don't really see anything wrong with it outside of acceptance because that is a level of normality for them as well. So I can it makes sense how girls who DW Flame have dated, especially if they're from Los Angeles, are understanding and accepting of his situation because he seems like an overall good guy. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So if all you got to deal with is him trying to figure out how to change his life, it don't really seem like that's a bad catch. You feel me? So shout out to DW Flame for that. I see you, black man. The hood rat state. Like, you know what I'm saying? When yeah, about this. And then have the girl be like, are you fucking serious? No, I kind of come from a place where everybody every girl knows. you ever fucked with understands. Yeah, I, 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 I come good. from like a hood rat state. Like, you know what I'm saying? When yeah. I, I yeah. used to have white girlfriends. I used to yeah, to I, I've been in and out, this. but even the girls who I fake dealt with wanted to be about that shit. Mm-hmm. So they understood. I guess, yeah, you don't hang out with a brick baby or a DW flame without kind of knowing that you know the truth. you're in no man's land. <laughs> no, I mean, you understand just what comes with these people, but that's like if I hang out with certain homies. I know certain homies are probably going to get in a certain ish. So if I don't want to get in a certain ish, I shouldn't be hanging out with certain homies. 
And I'm not saying that DW Flame is that type of homie because, like I said, bros with Nick Cannon, he on MTV, BET, VH1, he in movies, he on, you know, watching them on, on, no, on No Jumper. So, bro, you know, got a great situation. But I'm saying, from my experience is, you know who you can and can't hang out with because you know what they are and what they aren't on. Um, but one thing about us, we might like girls who don't know shit. You oh, I know that's his type. I nah, love. but that I don't see you around girls like that back in the no day. But yeah, yeah, back in the day. But no I'm boy. saying what mm. niggas like Stop. us like girls who don't know shit too. I love it. We diggy, grew like. from girls who all about that bullshit. Mm. Are you asking me or are you telling me?